The push for an in-person learning option continuing in Kalamazoo. Students preparing to rally in front of the KPS administration building tomorrow afternoon. Our Angela McCall spoke with the student behind the petition that they plan to submit. Two weeks ago, the Kalamazoo School Board upheld its decision to remain virtual for the remainder of the school year. It's a decision students and parents are still fighting. In all honesty, I just got sick and tired of this whole situation. I realized that, you know, this wasn't really who I was. I wasn't just going to sit back and just let this happen because, I mean, at the end of the day, even if nothing comes out of this, even if we still go back virtual, um, I would regret knowing that I could have at least tried. Kalamazoo Central senior Umberto Zamora began this petition for another option besides virtual, calling it a burden to the quality of education and describing in the petition that it's agonizing to stare at my screen only to see the disheartened eyes of my peers staring right back at me. It's been a very demotivating year where, you know, it's hard for students such as myself to find a reason to even get out of bed because quite frankly we don't have anything to look forward to for the next day. Umberto is preparing the petition and documents to submit at Thursday's school board meeting with a planned rally in front of the KPS administration building ahead of time. The group is hopeful for a different outcome. I'm fairly confident in all honesty. I think that if they choose to just I guess keep their decision um, it's going to, it, it's, it's not going to look great for them. And like, at the end of the day, we just want them to acknowledge that, that we just want what is best for ourselves. And quite frankly, a virtual like learning experience is not what's best for the KPS students. KPS remains an outlier as one of the only districts without some kind of in-person option with students and parents alike fearing it may not be offered into the upcoming academic year in the fall for those families who want an alternative. We just we just simply want the choice and the option to go back. In Kalamazoo, Angela McCall, Fox 17 News. And the student says that his petition is not meant to force any families into in-person learning if they don't want to. Parents also organized a GoFundMe for face-to-face -face learning and so far have raised $2,200. Meanwhile, the school district says its decision to remain virtual comes from social distancing standards, union discussions, and a lack of staff.